Good morning, beautiful people. Today is Tuesday, and I am headed toward my flight. I don't remember what I'm doing. Um, I It's like almost, it's just after seven in the morning, and I'm headed back to Denver. I'm excited, but I'm sad. Um, last night, my niece was like, Auntie, don't you wanna stay? Don't you wanna spend the night? And I'm like, no, cause this is hard for me also. Like, I love you, but I'm also sad, but I don't wanna show you that I'm sad. So, no, I'm gonna go and that's the end of it. So, it's okay. I'm going back to Denver. I'm gonna see my mom and everybody else and then I'm gonna come back down before I go back to Vietnam and spend time with them for a while so it'll be okay I'll survive I'm gonna go through security I'll talk to you guys on the other side you guys hilarious but not hilarious so I like go through security already and I forgot to dump my water bottle so it's full of water and they're like you can't take this and I'm like you're right <laughs> So I was like, do I have to give you my water bottle? He's like, no, I'll escort you out and then you can dump it and then come back through. And I'm like, dang it. So I have to go through security twice today, but I get to keep my water bottle. So I'm excited about that. Oh my gosh, I'm back in Denver. I'm so excited. I actually sat on the flight next to this guy who was super cool. His name's Russ, and we chatted the entire time. And that doesn't often happen for me, and that was really, really cool. Um, anyway, I'm super excited to be home. I think I just dropped my mask. That sucks. beautiful people I'm so excited today is Wednesday and my mom and I are going to Carter's to get her car taken care of oh, if there's one thing I'll say Carter is bomb.com facts um, you guys don't know who Carter is but if you live in the Denver metro area you should totally check him out he's an amazing mechanic he's straightforward um, he's super chill and if you're female he does not have that what's the word I'm looking for um he's not condescending yes so a lot of times because i'm a female and i look cute and i mean that in the most humble way possible when i go to like get tires i have work done on my car the mechanics are like oh that's cute but let me just double check because because why i don't know facts i can read and i get part of it is their job but part of they say it in like this condescending tone and i'm like Ugh, it drives me up the wall because when I go with my brothers my brothers could tell them the wrong tire size and they're like okay cool really though really anyway I digress Carter never had that problem not one time he's amazing heart him I heart him I heart his crew I heart his wife she's adorable and I haven't met his daughter but I'm sure I'd heart his daughter too anyway we're doing that and then we're running some other errands Oh, and later I'm going to the G Nut studio with Brandon. So come with me. All right, beautiful people. We are headed into Ross to get my second mom a birthday gift. Um, my mom's best friend. She's dreamy. I actually ran away to her house probably several times, but there's one time that I distinctly remember. I was like three years old and I was like, I'm going to Judy's house. And my mom was like, okay, cool. I'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs> she didn't care. <laughs> it was such a bad idea for me to come into this store. You know why? Because I've been in here less than five minutes and I've already found something super cute. That was not very good lighting. Super cute. And I'm like, it's not in my budget, but I still want it. I need to go back out to the car. This is, <sighs> and now my mom's yelling at me to put it back. Okay, she's talking to me. It's really cute. Since my mom is not getting anything and I did not bring in my wallet, I'm not getting this shirt. And I'm really sad because it's super cute. You can't, I'll show you, it's super cute. It'd be great with a pair of black jeans or black shorts. Not what you care about. My budget's gonna thank me. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be proud of myself saying no. 
My mom is so cute. She bought me this shirt. Did she have to? No, but she loves me. I'm excited. I now have to pay attention to where I'm going because I'm wearing heels and I'm still working on being graceful in those and I'm recording. It's it's kind of a struggle, you know? So I saw my mom's like, there's a gap, don't fall. Hello, beautiful people. Today is Friday and I'm super excited because I get out of the house. Actually, um, today has been kind of adventurous already. So my mom had a doctor's appointment earlier and we went to leave and we didn't have our garage door opener or our car key. <laughs> my brother had them. Actually, he had the car key. We still don't know where the garage door opener and if where the garage door opener is. And if you're wondering, how are you in your car driving? It's because my brother is a boss and knew how to open the garage door. So that was really cool. Um, I have a couple of errands that I'm going to run. I have to go to the hair store and get some stuff for my hair. So excited. And then um, ba -ba -ba -ba, I'm going to Barnes and Nobles to get another journal for my bullet journal. And then um, this evening I'm going back to the GNAT studio to get my workout in. Oh my gosh. Can we talk about how my abs, my like uh, whatever this muscle is in my shoulder and like my, I think they're like lats in the back, like down my back. Whoa. Um, yes, I've been doing pull-ups. It's kind of bananas and not like I've been doing pull-ups. It's ridiculous. So I'm sore, but I'm going to go back to the studio and get my workout in this evening and then hang out with my girl, Miriam and you all get to come along. I'll see you. You get to follow me while I do all my cool stuff. Okay, so I'm here. I'm gonna record before I head in because I, f I keep forgetting you have to wear a mask. I'm like, ah! I don't know how I keep forgetting. Every day I go outside my house, I have to wear a mask. Not the point. The point is, I really like this beauty supply store and there's another one. So if you're in Colorado, this one is off of, if you're in Denver, I should say, this one is off of Mississippi and Peoria and there's another one that's off of Colfax and Joliet. They have like everything you need in case you're ever wondering. Everything you need. I love it. All right, so we are on our way to the GNAT studio, and let me tell you something. There are crazy people, drivers, crazy drivers. They're crazy people too, but they're crazy drivers everywhere, and my brother is one of them. That's what I'm gonna say. Everybody's just focused on their own thing right now. It's all right, I wouldn't say they're crazy. Some people have got some skills that need to be sharpened, but. They're nah, they're there. crazy. It's all. Um, it's not even close to driving in Vietnam, for sure. But it's been interesting because they, like you're in a car, you do know you're in a car, right? Like on a motorbike, I can understand a lot more wiggle room. In a car, sir. And then we saw this one car that looked like the wheels were broken. So like wheels are normally like this and their wheels were like this. And I'm like, and you're on the road, huh? Okay. Style, that's the way they wear their pants now. It's like, that's the way they do it. Not about that life, how about that? This is what we call holy crap, my body is like shaking. <laughs> look, look at my legs. I'm not even done working out and they're it's shaking. It's not a party until the shaky show up. That's shaky, what shaky. For real, like, it's ridiculous. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> my body's like, what are you doing? She's Every not doing that. This is crazy. Your body is at attention. Oh, it's at attention. And they're like, what are you doing? When your, when your muscles are shaking, like so anytime you're working out and you're shaking, I want you to think about this. Your muscles are in layers, right? And as you work out, you basically destroy a layer of muscle often. That shaking is a deeper layer of muscle. That's another layer of muscle going, are you sure you want me to do this? What's going on out there? Like you're sending a significant signal now that you haven't had to in a long, long, long time. 
clearly. And they're not. Oh. Talk fast, you know I Go get the ball, Sippy. Here's the thing. Now that those muscles are <laughs> at attention, your job is to send a clear, deliberate message to them. Just because they're shaking in no way means that you can't do it at all. Pay attention. Think about what you're doing. Step right up your foot. So these are squats. <laughs> your feet are going to be shoulder apart, straight arms. I want you to keep these knees right over these toes and drop all the way down, straight arms. All the way down, don't be scared. Yeah, right back up. Stretch it, baby. All the way up, straight arms. <laughs> oh. One, straight arms, straight arms. Your arms are never good. Sydney. So thing, you're dropping down. Don't be afraid, I'm not kidding. Gene at studio. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. And I'm super excited. Um, it's amazing. That's all I can say is it's amazing and it works. I'm like sore in places that I wasn't expecting to be sore, but I can tell that like I'm fit in some places and in other yeah. places I'm like, uh we're gonna work on that. So it works. I'm excited. Well, That's you know it works, but it's like amazing. Never mind. You just gotta try it. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, people, we just brought in the Sabbath. It is Friday night, and I'm gonna say sayonara. I will see you in the next vlog because I'm gonna celebrate Shabbat with my family and low key decompress and relax because that was. Shabbat shalom! Shabbat shalom! Shabbat shalom! Shabbat shalom! Shabbat shalom! Shabbat shalom! Oh, it's a takeover of Lauren's vlog! This is her big brother, Brandon, and these are my boobies! Ah. And with that, Good night. I love you guys.